What's up guys, Dino here, I'm back and back and back. How are you all doing today? Glad, you're probably wondering why I'm here so early in two o'clock in the afternoon. Well, I've got a couple of days off, so I thought I'd just throw in a little early video there for you all. I know you's, a lot of you will be working, but hopefully, hopefully, you's, when you come home, you'll be able to grab this video because tonight's tip, yes, that's what I said, Tonight's tip, not tomorrow's, tonight's tip is here and I'm about to give it to you. But first of all, can I just say thank you to everyone that's stuck by the channel, stuck by myself. I know it's only 22 subscribers, um, but we can build on that together. As I say, there is 92 videos on this channel that anyone can have a look at. You can all see that it's quality, quality channel. Um, and it's only going to get bigger and better. All right. So anyone that's new to the channel, have a look at as many videos as you want. Um, just for interest for everyone, just in case we forgot, we have a 70 plus strike rate with first, second and thirds on this channel. So let's just keep that in mind. Um, that is exceptional exceptional and we need to keep on taking that forward and that's what i'm going to try and make up for not being here for the last two months not my fault i was waiting on all the stuff coming from florida but that's here now it's back on the channel building up um i know i've missed quite a bit we missed the derby and things like that which is a bit disappointing miss royal ascot as well um but hopefully we can make up with that with a few winners from here on in all right so this is the first video back um and we are going to get right into we are as you can see there's a lot of racing um being run today at hamilton uh chepstow leicester Killarney, leperstown Foslas, epsom and i think that's fiji or vici in france um but there's only three uh, race meetings that are getting run at night and we're going to be heading off to Leopardstown uh, which is obviously on the flat and it's the group three that's going to be getting run there the meld stakes group three for three year olds and upwards over one mile one furlong and it's in the 750 so let's have a little look at it let's see what we all think and as I say there's only seven runners in this there was eight this morning so i've had a good look at the the race and you can probably see there there's blue x's down here these are the ones that i don't i don't think will win the race listen could be wrong but as i've always said if you do your homework more times than not you will get the right answer at the end of it not all the time but if you do your homework more times than not you will get the right answer on the right horse so, um, Cape of Good Hope is obviously the non runner, but I don't fancy Sabrinsky, I don't fancy Z Harbour, I don't fancy Ancient Spirit. The dark horse of the race has to be this boy, Up Heli A. Um, it's not got an official rating yet, it's, it's first, it's only had two runs this season. Um, there's not an awful lot you can take out of it, to be quite honest. So, I'm going to leave that, that one alone, if I'm being honest. So I think the winner's going to come from Pinchek, Mohawk, or Tinadali. Um, and I've looked at all these horses. Now, as you can see up here, where it's got the going, it says good. That could change to good to yielding at some point overnight, at uh, some point this afternoon, um, because I think there is rain to be in Ireland and up here in Scotland as well. So just keep an eye on that, ladies and gents. I know it's only 10 past two in the afternoon, but come five and six o'clock, that could change everything to do with the going if we're led to believe the weather, which the weather has um, been pretty good lately, as in correct. So back to the race, 7.50 at Leperstown over one mile, one furlong. Pin check, we'll start with. And if we look at Pinchek's form, um, Santa Anita, 
these two races here, uh, 17th of February and the 20th of January this year, it's ran two races in Santa Anita. Mike Smith, who's a top, top jockey, 6th and 10th, poor, poor races. But since it came back to uh, the UK, the 29th of June was its last run, and it, it ran third, only beating half a length, well, you could say a length, um, into third. But what I need you to keep an eye on here is, that was in a listed race, which is an okay race, over a mile, on good ground, so the ground, it won't be a problem for pin check. Um, it was carrying 10 stone that day with an overall rate of 110. It's now going to be still carrying 110 with its weight of a 9 stone 12, which that's a couple of pounds drop. Does it make a difference? Very rarely does it make a difference, but it is two pounds off its back. Um, but the one I need you to look at here is Old Glory, which is Aidan O'Brien's and Ryan Moore. Now, Old Glory obviously beat Pinchek by about a quarter of a length, half a length, if you see. Now, if you look at the race, Mohawk, Aidan O'Brien, and his son, Donica O'Brien. Now, you would like to think that Aidan O'Brien thinks that Mohawk would beat Pinchek, would you not? I would have thought that. Whether anybody else thinks that way, but that's the way I think. I think Aidan O'Brien's put Mohawk in there um, because he thinks it's going to beat Pinchek and win the race. So that's the way I'm looking at it with they two. Tinadali, again, if you look at Tinadali's form, it's done three runs, it's got an overall rating of 104. So we've got 9 stone on its back, which is a big difference from Pinchek's, which is 9 stone 12. Um, and if you look at his, his runs, his last run is won by 11 lengths. And if you look at that race, there was only three horses in the race. Um, it's an okay race, but nothing to get excited about. But if you look who ran third, Goddess, Aidan O'Brien, Donald O'Brien on it. Now, okay, Tindali beat that this time. So you would like to think that Aidan O'Brien has put Mohawk in there thinking that Mohawk will win that race because it's good enough to beat Tindali, Pinchek and up Heli A. That's my way of thinking about it. And as I've said, there's lots of people out there that look at form and weights and jockeys and trainers and who's in form and who's out of form etc etc but that's the way i look at this race so i'm my tip for tonight remember this is for tonight not tomorrow 7 50 at leperstown running tonight my tip is going to be mohawk to win the 750 at leperstown now one other wee start is i said about the, the going being good if that does change to good to yielding, which is slightly a little bit soft, it'll suit Mohawk as well, because it's, it's ran good races in the soft as well. It's ran a good race in, in good ground. So the distance ain't going to bother it, and the ground ain't going to bother it. So that's my tip for tonight. Remember, it's for tonight. Hopefully you, ladies and gents, when you come in, you get the video, and you're able to put a bet on this. And remember, bet sensibly, ladies and gents. Don't go absolutely mad. So bet, bet sensibly all the time. All right. So I will be doing a video tomorrow. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad you, ladies and gents, are all still here. But the tip for tonight, as I say, is Mohawk in the 750 at Leperstown. Stay tuned, because I'm back. Oh, 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 oh,